Hey guys, it's Prince Asbel. Tommy Lauren got suspended from The Blaze following her recent appearance on The View. In that interview, she declared she is a conservative, pro-choice Republican, and she's made the argument that you must be pro-choice if you're going to be consistently against big government. It seems most people are sticking up for her rather than rebutting what she said, which is what they should be doing and what I'm going to do right now. You call yourself a conservative, mm -hmm. um a conservative Republican and a constitutional conservative, mm -hmm. but you also consider yourself pro-choice, which is interesting to me because 68% of conservative Republicans think that abortion should be illegal across the board. No, I'm pro-choice, and here's why. I am a constitutional, you know, someone that loves the Constitution. I am someone that's for limited government, and so I can't sit here and be a hypocrite and say I'm for limited government, but I think that the government should decide what women do with their bodies. Tommy, stop. What is the purpose of the government even having power in the first place? Isn't that power supposed to be used to control other people's bodies for certain purposes? In fact, don't we already do do that all the time. No anti-big government person with half a brain will complain that because the government punishes murderers, for example, and puts their bodies in prison, that that means the government is overreaching itself. That is governmental power at its bare minimum. At least it will impose upon the body of a murderer and place him in a confined area. That is governmental control over a person's body, but we all can recognize that's a good thing. Why? Because we do not oppose big government purely because it's inherently bad to have a government that is big. We oppose it when it becomes so big that it destroys the rights of those being governed. If abortion is the most heinous form of murder there is, then the very least you should be able to demand is that your government would impose control over women's bodies to prevent them from committing that act. There is nothing inconsistent about that. I can sit here and say that as a Republican. And then I'm glad I never registered as a Republican. If this is what it means to be a Republican, to hold such poorly thought out views, then I want no part of it. And I can say, you know what, I'm for limited government, so stay out of my, my guns and you can stay out of my body as well. So if we want to protect our right to bear arms, we need to defend the right for mothers to murder their unborn babies, right? You have to answer this question, Tommy. You can't leave that untouched. What is abortion to you? If it is murder, then why would you want to limit the government's power to keep women from having abortions? Is that giving the government too much power to have it stop mothers from murdering their own babies? Is that too much power in your eyes? This kind of statement would only carry weight if you didn't believe that abortion is murder. And the thing is, I know that you know that a mother having an abortion is murdering her own baby. Pro-choicers are supposed to be about rare and safe abortions. That's how they avoid sounding like straight up baby killers by acknowledging abortion is not a positive thing and a difficult choice. Then we have Lena freaking Dunham out there wishing she could have murdered a fetus, wishing for the option to kill your child. Doesn't exactly say much about the cause, her character, or the pro-choice movement. So in your own words, abortion is murder. So why would you oppose a government that would seek to make abortion illegal? The only way this would make sense is if you believe that the government having power over our bodies is the big evil that trumps everything else, and it must be opposed even if a mother is using her body to murder her own baby. Which is not only morally outrageous, it's completely hypocritical. Because by having an abortion, the mother is exercising ultimate control over her baby's body. Isn't that bad that a mother should have that kind of power, Tommy? Or is control over other people's bodies only bad when the government does it? Your views on abortion are no less ridiculous than any other pro-choice argument. You're not consistent, you're not being rational, you're not being thoughtful, you're not being a constitutionalist or anything else. You're not anywhere near any of that. You've sunk to the level of chink uger. You're against uh, intruding uh, on a woman's right to choose and getting between her and her doctor. No, 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 I love that big government. No, I love that big government. I love a government so big it's in your ovum, okay? But I understand that that is a giant big government position because I will get inside your uterus. Because I want small government, but I'd like to be inside your womb. That is not small government. I'd like to get between you and your doctor. That is not small government. 
if you want to be buddies with someone, Tommy, maybe you can hit Cenk Uger up because he agrees with you on this. But I'll say the same thing to you that I would say to him. Prohibiting abortion is not inconsistent with an anti-big government perspective because nobody actually thinks that the government having control over our bodies is an inherently bad thing. Jack, once you open the door to state interference in a person's body, everyone from anti-abortionists to advocates of sterilizing the retarded will come marching through. Don't kid yourself. The state already interferes with your body. You can't legally inject heroin into your veins. You can't legally commit suicide and the state has the right to put your body in a uniform and send you off to war well it's the woman's body the baby might be in the woman's body but the baby is not the woman's body it's not the woman's body it's in the woman's body that's not the same and the argument is woman should get to choose what she does with her body bull go prostitute yourself see if you get arrested you don't i don't have the right to do whatever i want with my body no one does that's this kind of weird, ethereal argumentation that's so detached from rational thought that it shows that our consciences have been seared. But the argument is, no, 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 no. You don't get to tell me what I get to do with my body. Of course they do. Our elected democratic republic gets to tell us all sorts of things that we can and can't do. And right now, what they're telling us we can do is murder babies. Tommy Laren, if that video of you deriding pro-choice advocates, calling them baby killers, really is from December of last year, then that means up till about four months ago you agreed with everything that pastor just said. What changed? You see, Glenn Beck had a difficult decision to make in suspending you. You are either so dumb you can't even grasp this issue as well as a fictional character in a TV show, or you're a complete and total hypocrite. You say one thing and then you say another. If he has the power to terminate your contract and does so, I don't think we can blame him very much, if at all. Because whichever one you are, dumb, a hypocrite, or both, why should he keep you? Why would he want to keep you? I don't see why he would. But hey, at least you got Chank Uger to back you up. Tommy Learn. <laughs> I will get inside your uterus.